latest update on Cyclone Mekanu, which is about to make landfall in Oman this evening. At 4pm Gulf Standard Time on May 25th, it was located at 16.4 north, 54.3 east. It has winds of 105 miles an hour, that's 170 kilometers per hour, with higher gusts, and a pressure of 956 millibars. The storm is just several dozen miles off the coast now and it's moving in quickly. And this is the forecast. It's mo more than likely to make landfall with hurricane force winds very close to the city of Salalar. So hurricane force winds are certainly a possibility there and significant rainfall which could lead to flash flooding. Uh, the storm will then move inland and retain tropical storm conditions at least for around 12 to 24 hours minimum. Here's where it is right now. You can see how close it is to Salalar, and it could make landfall pretty much right on the city. It's a CDPS Stage 5, which means that the damage potential is devastating. It's an extremely severe tropical cyclone, according to the Indian Meteorological Department. Significant rainfall could reach 10 inches or higher along the coastline, which could lead to flash flooding or worse. That's several, the range of several hundred millimeters of rainfall possible. This is what's going on through the weekend, the storm moving inland, the northern side looks to be the most intense and then it will pretty much fizzle out by Monday and all gone completely by Tuesday. Uh, and then you can see there just a little bit of rain over the desert but very little going on after that. So we're nearly finished with this storm but the worst part I'm afraid is still in between us and the storm's dissipation. Well the sea surface temperatures look like this. Uh, 29 or 30 degrees Celsius and you can see on land there how the cloud has really cooled the area around Salalar and over the desert there usually you'd see temperatures getting near 40 like in the area further northwest. Wind shear has been very low which has caused this storm to intensify and it could have been worse actually it could have intensified further uh, but by the looks of things it's not going to intensify anymore because there's just not enough time. And here's how it has been progressing today. This is a 12 hour loop so you can see how far it's been moving. We expect that from the time of update, which is 4pm Gulf Standard Time, landfall will be in around 2 hours or so I should think, uh, if not maybe towards 3. Uh, but by 7 or 8pm the storm will have moved inland and it will be on its way northwest. It will definitely make landfall in Oman by the looks of things unless there's a very strange late jog to the west and then it will move inland and should remain in Oman and then into Saudi Arabia later on. That's all for now, more to come. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube page, Force 13. Subscribe if you haven't already for the latest updates. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. And it's the same on Twitter under our handle at Force 13. You can also add uh, my Skype account on Force 13 and my personal Discord account, Fool 13, at extension 9094 for tropical weather chat.